Doug NPA back with another video. Guys, look at this headline. I'm a diagnosed sociopath. I feel no guilt, empathy, or remorse by Kanika Batra because only a woman can write an article about how she's a sociopath in a magazine like Newsweek in 2023. Now, a Imagine, if you will, what kind of woman can get away with saying this publicly. Let's look, shall we? Here she is. This is Kanika Vacha right here. And what does she do for a living? Model, author, and content creator based out of where? Australia. I want to visit Australia, but all the media I've seen for, from Australia shows to me that it's a, a feminist, misandrist, man-hating wasteland. If you listen to my content for, from Australia, please... Please confirm or deny my suspicions in the comments, please. Once again, only a pretty woman like this can get away with writing this kind of article. And as we go through this article, let's look at the double standard. Imagine it's a guy saying this, okay? Just like the article I did yesterday about the woman who left her husband when he had cancer after five years. So we're going to get into this article. Before I do, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's see what, what Kanika Batra has to say about being a sociopath. I'm a diagnosed sociopath. I have no guilt, empathy, or remorse, and I don't understand why that's considered a, a bad thing. Apparently, having empathy makes you a good person automatically, but I disagree. I believe that empaths have very selective empathy and that it can be used against you in a number of ways. I have cognitive empathy. I know exactly what you're going through, and I think that's sufficient. I don't need to take on your emotional burden. By societal standards, I may be an evil person. I don't do things the right way, and I don't necessarily care about a lot of people. I care about those closest to me, but everyone else, if they get in my way, I will take them out. She's what, like 5'5", five, five, like a buck 20? <laughs> and she's saying she's going to take people out? <laughs> And I don't care what society has to say about that. If this were a guy writing this article, what would they say about a guy writing this? That he was, they'd say toxic masculinity. That's what they'd say. But she's, she's a pretty woman. She can get away with this. Society lets pretty women get away with this. Men get pretty, let pretty women get away with this. Women let pretty women get, get away with this. And it's sad. I was diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder, ASPD, at the age of 21, but I had been quite the, the menace during my childhood. I had a significant history of truancy, violent behavior, pathological lying, bullying, and callousness prior to 15, which led to the diagnosis of conducting of con conduct disorder, a precursor to, uh, to ASPD. So sh she got away with all this in her teenage years because she's pretty and Pretty women don't have to know what violence is. Most guys that do this in their tween, their teens, their early twenties, ended up meeting end up meeting someone who's bigger and badder than them and get their ass kicked. But pretty women don't have to suffer those consequences. Post high school, I learned to manipulate in a much more subtle manner, and though I still lack affective empathy, guilt, remorse, and probably a conscience. I created a mask to hide my ASPD. My persona was kind, charitable, and most of all, charismatic. When I was officially diagnosed, I didn't go to the psychiatrist's office all too willingly. I had attempted to take my own life and was suffering from crippling d depression. <laughs> Women. I was offered the opportunity to either be placed in a psychiatric facility or see a psychiatrist in an outpatient capacity. Obviously, I chose the latter. My psychiatrist could see through the pathological lies and tried to change my mindset, but I could openly state that I was vicious to people who tried to go against me or people who were close to me. My lack of conscience allowed me to be a kleptomaniac. Not that it was needed. It was just a thrill. I was cold on the inside, but incredibly incredibly magnetic on the outside. And once again, the, this is Australia. You, you see in the news a lot of these women stealing and they meet the wrong ones. I've seen ones where women get, you know, you, you know, people will pull out firearms and, and take care of business when women tr tr try to steal. There was that one lady, she's pregnant and she she tried to carjack a guy and the guy got got out of his car and handled the, the situation and she's not here anymore. But once again, I'll show you that uh, they don't have firearms, so I guess she she can keep stealing, I guess. 
I was a social chameleon and I did well in student politics because I could become anybody people wanted me to be or anyone that would make me successful. I believe I'm a product of nature and nurture. My family is filled with people who I could, who, uh, who I feel could quite easily be diagnosed with ASPD or be called psychopaths outright. I, I also grew up around people with a history of domestic violence and SA. Once again, the world doesn't owe you understanding, lady. You have to get these issues sorted out. Well, actually, like I said before, at the beginning, she doesn't because she's pretty. I experienced the same myself in my early 20s. As cunning as I was, I got outplayed. And what makes me angry is the loss of control. As a child, I wasn't allowed to show emotions and struggled to connect with people naturally from an early age. It was all pretty much forced on my end. I didn't know what made people want to be friends with one another so i mimic successful behavior i've seen people crying on the streets and it does nothing to me i feel absolutely nothing in my eyes it just doesn't concern me it's not my problem well i don't care about random people i see in the street i do my fair share of philanthropy and not because society tells me to so this is her again once again only reason why she can get away with all this i've said it twice i'll say it again it's because she's pretty Average woman wouldn't be able to get away with this in person. An ugly woman or a bigger woman? Heck no. Okay. I have a certain range of causes that I genuinely care about, including the rights of women and shelters for those who have experienced SA and, and DV. So I donate to those charities. Nobody supported me when I was graped. And despite the police wanting to take it to trial, many people called me a liar. Didn't she say that she was uh, a sociopath? Anyway, well, her. Experience is her experience, and I'm never going to disrespect a woman's great uh, experience. And she did go to the police. I got to give her, so she says. So I got to give her credit for doing that. I have compassion for women and gay men who have experienced what I have and try to support others in that situation. I also created a website called <laughs> Cinderella's Revenge. to serve as a support system for those who have experienced toxic individuals and have nobody else. But the problem is she probably only lets women and gay men on that site and not straight males. But random homeless people, I don't really care about. On a scale of one to Patrick Bateman, that's the guy from American Psycho. I'm probably a seven. No, I'm not going to murder any, anyone. But I do believe that guilt is a control mechanism used by people to punish you for doing things that benefit you. I think it's very toxic and unnecessary. Emotion. Yeah, well, I guarantee you that Instagram model that deleted her, um, the, the blonde that deleted her, her Nigerian boyfriend, she probably said this this phrase too. I'm not gonna take take anyone out unless it's her boyfriend that she's been beating on for the last six months to, to a year. I don't feel guilt. In fact, I've never felt guilt once in my life for anything I've done. It's a foreign experience to me. But judging by the way that other people explain it to me, why would anyone want to feel that? Why would anyone think this is a healthy emotion that they should be feeling? I don't need guilt to force me into being kind. However, it also does not hold me back from backstabbing the people I need to so I can get ahead. I believe this gives me an advantage in life other people do not have. Once again, if this were a guy saying this, he'd get canceled. Ellen... My personality, most people find the most surprising is that I don't have empathy for myself either. I don't have, have empathy for my future self or my past self. She says, remorse is another emotion I feel is entirely useless and provides no substance to society. When I think about things I've done that weren't necessarily good, I don't care. I have no emotions that link me back to that memory. Once something has been done, it's not going to be undone because you feel bad about it. Yes, it, Okay, um, I see people ha who have bought something they shouldn't have or have gone out and cheated on their partner. And when they realize it was a bad decision, they're overcome with remorse. Yes, it was a bad decision, but what are you going to do about it? You're going to dwell on it, but is that going to help you? Is that going to help anybody? Absolutely not. What is the point of that? My opinion, having a lack of empathy, guilt, and remorse has, has made me a very successful person in life. No, your looks have made you a very su successful person in life okay and you're able to do everything else because you have those looks 
I have achieved things I would ne have never achieved if I was worrying about the impact I had on other people. I wouldn't have taken risks that were so wild, but I achieved inc incredible outcomes. So tell me, do you still want to have empathy? Once again, she's a model, author, and content creator. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this woman. Let me know what you think about the double standard. And if you're from Australia, please confirm or deny my, uh, uh, my suspicions about the blatant misandry in Australia, please. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.